uh, I would like to wish the Republic of India and a great start on its year-long celebration of 75 years of independence. India has always been a source of inspiring and friendship for Bahrainis and this year marks the 50 years of diplomatic ties between both countries. My generations grew up hearing of India as a place where uh, parents went for education and medical treatment for, uh, for doing businesses naturally. When it was time for us, for our business to, to have a partnership with an Indian like Mr. Uh, Mathur, it was a great uh, relationship, not with Mathur himself, with his family, with his uh, great brothers as well, who brought advanced know-how and experiences that uh, elevated Bahrain status and business-friendly economic zone. Bahrain welcome all nationalities and give us a place to work and live in a harmony. Indian technology and business management skill can shine in Bahrain because the kingdom is so open to new ideas. I am proud of my association with Mr. Al Khaja and the AMAK group. The Bahrain-India relationship is a reflection of the potential for success and progress between both the countries. Uh, I'd like to share some experiences I had with uh, India. I've been to India quite a few times, but uh, the recent ones were uh, in uh, early 2000s, between 2000 and 2004. We were invited by the uh, government of Kerala. Uh, a group of uh, businessmen from Bahrain, we had, uh, uh, they chosen us and we have gone there to see the beauty of India and Kerala as well. They took us in the beginning to uh, uh, Cochin, then we took a bus all the way to Munar. They took us back the next day to uh, Cochin and they showed us the beauty of India and the beauty of uh, Kerala as well. And they took us to the open seas, which is uh, called uh, in Kumarakum, it was, if I'm not mistaken, at that time it was so beautiful and we did not want to leave, but unfortunately the, the week, eight days went, flew by uh, very fast. And my second experience I had, which I learned, which I met uh, one of the uh, greatest movie stars who passed away recently, uh, Dilip Kumar. He came to our houses uh, in Bahrain uh, in the early uh, 80s as well. I was young at that time. I was uh, 17 or 18. He visited my house with uh, his wife Sirabanu and during that experience he shared the, the beauty and love in Bahraini's home. We raised watching Indian films and most of Bahraini people they speak the language from young uh, generation to a bigger generation where our families have a great love and respect for each other and uh, God bless both countries and I hope the success and love will be always between us. Uh, going forward, we all have a great expectation for the further success of Bahrain and India ties. The world is changing rapidly and India and Bahrain being such warm terms can help us to move ahead inshallah. Today, India is a global IT hub and we have the technology to engage with the world. Bahrain is a part of our neighborhood and blessed with such a visionary royal family and leadership. It is an opportunity for us to come together.